Okay. Do not have sex. That's just it. Paramount. One of the most important things that you've got to understand. When you're dating, you just don't have sex with guys. You just don't have sex with any of them. You've, you've really got to pay attention to this. Um, again, this is one of those anti-cosmopolitan magazine kind of things. Giving sex to a guy who's not committed to you just laid out the, the groundwork for your entire future. You're someone he can have sex with and he doesn't need to commit to. It's that simple. These are the things that our parents and our grandparents understood. They understood very well. Women today seem very confused. Whether it's about a feminist movement or being liberal somehow and, and just having power. When you have sex, you gave your power away. There are women out there that think that they control a ton of guys because of sex. Uh, because of their body. And if a guy's really smart, he'll let her just keep thinking that. Really, that's what it is. You're being manipulated. You're manipulating yourself. Um, you just don't give sex. In fact, the sooner you do it, the worse it's going to be as well. So I'm just going to give you a little way out there. If you, if you can at least hold off onto it for a very long period of time, you're going to get that much better of a result. Um, one day versus ten is a major difference. So if you can have a guy wait six months before that and he's committed to you, that is a much better situation than thinking that you're going to wrap a guy up by giving sex the very first night you meet him. If he tells you he respects you after that, well, you're also dealing with a liar. <laughs> I mean, a few guys are going to come right out and just tell you that they've lost respect for you. They may not even know that they've lost respect for you, and they have. So you just don't give sex. That is really the bottom line. So any questions you have about that, um, I haven't been the best at my my advice. I'll be the first to tell you. I need coaching as well, I, and I always do. That That's why I'm here is because I do receive coaching from others. That's one of the most important lessons that I teach is that you keep learning. I've made this mistake as well. Um, and I, I've had good relationships that took off from relationships that, you know, got into those types of things earlier than they should have. Um, but uh, when it comes to actual coaching, I'm just going to tell you to not have sex at all, really, until you're married. Now, this isn't some prude, Protestant kind of coaching that I'm giving you. Just, I'm telling you what's going to give you the best results. It really is. I know of friends in my life right now that have had sex with men that uh, they, they still are not committed to the woman and they just have a ton of problems because of it. It's not going to get better. Sorry to say it's just not. Um, you want to be very careful too though. Let's say you are having sex. You cannot just now tell that man, man hey, we're, we're not having sex anymore. Now, there's a little disclaimer there. No means no. You, you, you don't continue having sex if you don't want to. I'm going off of the assumption that you still want to, but you're listening to what I'm telling you, and you feel that there's a problem there. So you need to communicate it with the man that's in your life and say, hey, I, I, I love doing this with you, and you know it's great, but I feel that it was a mistake. And start opening that dialogue. Uh, this way, if he's really on the same page with you and he's going to respect that, after doing the naughty two or three times, you know, I think you guys can taper off and wean yourself off it a little bit and, and take more of that approach. But really, if you just say, no, we're not having it, you're with a guy who's used to doing that with you. And and he does enjoy that about you. And, and so just taking that away, um, be more subtle about it is all that I'm saying. But I would take that approach. Um, you know, if I, I, I'm always going to go old school, you know, with the end to whatever means that we talk about. And being married and saving sex for that partner 
is, in my opinion, the best way to go. Um, I've done countless studies, research on the topic. It's just best that way. Are people married and cheating and having divorces and such? Absolutely. But come on, that's not much of a debate, so just shut it. I'm really talking about the utopian relationship. It's married. Two people that communicate well with each other. They hold on to something that's sacred and, and intimate that they share with each other. And it's something that has a lot of meaning. Um, those ideas break down a little bit in the other type of scenarios. So, yeah, I'm just going to say no sex at all. So don't come at me with what date can I start having sex or when is sex too soon? Uh, because, you know, it's just not a good idea. I'm really, I'm being honest there. Um, I'd be very careful about doing the things that replace sex as well. Uh, you know, oral, heavy petting. You know, I, I, I'm just telling you, I, I, I would love the forum to blow up on this topic, you know, because I, I believe that you really can know what someone is going to be like sexually in the way that they show up in their relationship. Um, and, and the way that they kiss and, and how they are intimate in ways that are not sexual. There's tons of other ways to be intimate, uh, whether it's social, educational, intellectual, physical. There, there's just a lot of ways to do that. When you have a, a female running partner and you guys run at 6 a.m. and you're alone at a time that nobody else is on the streets, you guys are able to, to share things, that's physical intimacy, you know, and so... Um, I, I really encourage you guys to explore some of those in, in a way that uh, sexual transmutation takes place. And you guys can really subside those urges and, and you guys can drive that energy somewhere else that really can be very, very powerful. Um, so, yeah, good luck to you guys. That's my two cents.